Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we'll be talking about lead code problem 20 called valid parenthesis. So it says, given a string as containing just characters, uh, open bracket, close, open curly, close curly, and full bracket, or what we call square bracket, open and close, sorry, and determine if the input string is valid. And input string is valid if open brackets must be closed by the same type of the brackets open brackets must be closed in a correct order okay let's look at the example so for example if there is one open bracket and then close that means it's good there is open close open close open close it's good because they all open and then close in in a proper correct order so there is one open and then closes using the square bracket which is wrong and that's why it's false and here we have open open and then close so we cannot have this case because we wanted to close with the square bracket before we closed it with parentheses so that's why it's false and then we have curly open and the square open the square close it's correct order and then we can close the curly so that's good so how can we go about doing this is so first uh, we can we can kind of see the pattern here that if we open a bracket we want to eat we want that opposite one to be the first one to close it so for example if we open with uh, the normal parenthesis then the the next closing one out of even parenthesis or or curly or or the square bracket the parentheses must be closed before anything else so in this case parentheses open the next closing one has to be the parentheses so in this case we had an open parentheses but the closed with the square bracket that's why it's false open with the parentheses open with the square and then closed it with parentheses well that's not gonna work because we just opened it with the uh, a square bracket so we need to close that before we close the parenthesis so the last one that you open has to be the first one you close with and here is that case so we open it with the curly open it with the square we close it with the square which is fine and then we can we have to close it with the curly which is there so that's why it's true so let's jump right into the problem so what we need to do is that uh, what we can do is that we can create some sort of stack that keeps track of what we have seen so far. So if we see an opening one, we're going to put it in the stack. And as soon as we see closing one, we're going to take a peek into the stack. And since stack only contains the opening ones, and if we see the closing one while we're looping over the given string, and if we see a closing one, then we can say that the top of the stack whatever it's there it must be matching what's closing so you'll see that in a minute so let's jump right into the uh, coding and we'll see in details so first I'm gonna have a list of openings uh, just want to store some characters so we can uh, we can we can check if it if the character is part of that that means it's opening so opens I'm just gonna call it so here if you want to put all the opening ones and then given problem only have three type see and there is one more there you go those are the opening ones and we also want to have some sort of uh, dictionary that can tell us what's the closing for a given opening so I'm just gonna call it a map dictionary of char to char and like we said we want to keep one opening and what's the closing of that I have no idea why I put uh, why I picked the curly first but I'll put the parenthesis here There you go and we have another one for square bracket Oops. 
there you go so now that we have this map where we can where we can get the opposite side of that whatever the bracket we're looking for so let's loop over each character our character in s and we said we need to keep some sort of stack so let's keep stack from char so we just say that we anytime you see an opening we just want to put it on the stack the logic becomes that when we see a closing bracket that's when we want to check at the top of the stack is it the matching one or not if not that means we got a mismatch and we can return false or we just pop that one and continue on with the rest of the uh, loop so if opens contains character so this is opening one so that's fine so we just want to uh, stack this up character else we know it's closing one and now we can do the algorithm here uh, pick uh, let's pick at this stack oh let's just pop it it's fine so if pick or sorry I should just say pop now pop does not equal to the character we just return false otherwise we just continue on and uh, hopefully that loops goes through the rest of the characters and we just want to return here uh, stack is empty here stack is not empty or I think stack count is not zero Sorry, if the stack is equal to zero, that means we are good. Otherwise, we still have some sort of hanging openings in our stack, which is bad. So let's go through it again. This is just a simple list of all the opens. This is a map that gives us the closing, uh, closing one uh, for a given opening, and. Uh, here we loop over the characters in S and if the open contains it we just push it to the stack and when we are looking at the closing one we wanna pop whatever we had it on our stack and if the pop does not equal to character I think what we are missing is that uh, closing one for our pop so map dot If the closing is not equal to our character because this is a case when we pushed uh, opening and then we saw the closing and we can't really uh, we, so in the top of the stack we will have opening we can't really uh, match that with the closing we need to match it with the closing of the opening that we had sorry about the confusion guys but hopefully it makes sense so let's uh, run this Okay, that worked. Try to submit it. Stack MT. Exception. Sorry, guys. Oh yeah, so there could be the case where we have nothing in the stack and we haven't closing before so we want to check if the stack is stack.count equal equal zero that means we can just return false. This is the case when we just first character in our string is closing and we have no opening so in that case we can just return false. Okay, run it again. Sorry, submit it. 
there you go guys thank you very much for watching if you have any other problem that you want me to discuss here please put it in the comments otherwise like and subscribe and have a nice day bye